Hey guys, welcome back to the video. It's me, and today um, I'm showing you how I make hot chocolate. I'm not sure if I've made a video about this already. I might have, so like, don't scream at me. But yeah, I'm doing it. Maybe it's a little different. Also, I didn't post yesterday. Um, I said that I wasn't going to be posting um, from Thursday to Friday, but I just didn't end up posting yesterday. I had a lot to do. So yeah, sorry about that. Um... So, this is what I do. I'm going to prop this up a bit more. But this will just be how it's like until I pour in the milk. So, basically, the first step is always just pour some milk into a glasses. Um, unless you're doing it for, like, 15 people. I'm doing it for only four people. Making hot chocolate for only four people. So, um, you can, if you're doing it for, like, 15, you can do it, like, on the stove. And, yeah, so you're going to fill it up on maybe a bit less than the top. Like, from there, you can just see milk for a bit. And then, yeah, once you fill it up. The reason you guys have such a bad view right now is I'm going to put the milk on. Okay. So, here's one of them. The lemon. So here's one of them. Um, I'm going to take some hot chocolate powders. I'm going to be using two packets because it says pour an envelope for each, and I did. I have done it before. I'm just going to be risk because I need a risk for it. Um, and I've done that before, and it was just way too chocolatey for me. Okay, so you're going to open this up. You guys also may have <coughs> cocoa butter. And yeah, I'm going to add a bit of sugar. So you're going to add about half, half the packet. In. It doesn't have to be like exactly even. But I'm pretty sure not all of you have like these exact packets. So. Okay. And then I like to save a bit in the packet. So when I put the whipped cream on top, the whipped cream and the marshmallows on top, I can get a little drizzle. Uh, not like a little drizzle, like a little bit of powder on top. You can just admire. Sorry, that's my dog eating food. Um, if you hear those noises, you can just sort of admire. Okay, so then you're going to mix it up. Um, I mix mine up one at a time. I just, with a whisk, mix in the powder. And then this is usually when I try it, if I'm just making it for myself. Um, but since I'm making it for other people, I don't want really to put my mouth on it because that's gross. So you just, oh sorry, I forgot to add the whole cocoa to the other pieces. I only added one packet, sorry about that. So I'm just going to mix these in, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk to you guys. So, um, again, I'm so sorry for not posting yesterday, and that's why I'm doing a bit of a longer video than usual today. It's already four minutes long, and I've only mixed in hot cocoa powder. Um, I like to sort of wipe up the counter as I go along with just a wet paper towel, because... You know, you gotta, it, it does spill, and I'm not saying you can stop it from spilling a bit. Um, usually I just do it while they're in the microwave, which has been a couple steps. Okay, so I'm just mixing that up. It doesn't have to be fully mixed, it can be mixed enough. Um, 
you can watch me. I just sort of put the whisk in, move it around, and like press up and down and spin it. Also, you can make cold chocolate with this recipe. Just do the same thing. I'll tell you when you can just, if you want cold chocolate. Yeah, and then you're just gonna do a drop of vanilla extract. Just a bit. This sort of like gives it more of a fine, refined taste. I actually have no idea what this is. Don't listen to any. Actually, I, I don't know what this does. Don't listen to anything I say. I just, I think it tastes better and I don't know why, but it does. Okay, so once you have all that mixed in, you're going to pop um in the microwave. Actually, um, I'm going to add the tiniest little bit of sugar is mine because I feel like it's a little not, not sweet enough. So if you're doing that, you can just take um, a bit of sugar and just place it in there like coffee. And if you're doing this, like this, okay, so then you're just going to mix that in really quick, give it a quick mix up. And then I put them in the microwave for a minute and a half each. Um, so I'm going to be doing mine to a time. And I feel like if I do three or four at a time, it will not be as good. So you're going to just do the microwave and just do for one minute. Add 30 seconds. That's how much time I usually do. And then while that's happening, here you can look at my counter. Very dirty, so I'm going to clean that up. So I'm going to put these two to the side. And just get, put everything away that I'm not going to use. So I'm putting this whole box away with the hot cocoa powder. But if it, it wasn't in packets, then I wouldn't put it away because I'm still going to use a bit of hot cocoa powder. Um, and then... I'm going to take a paper towel, or just a non-paper towel, but I have a paper towel the best like. That's really weird. And I'm just going to wipe up the counters, um, get all the cocoa powder and the milk off of there. You might need more than one if you made as big as a mess as I did. I make really big messes, but I usually end up putting it on. Usually. Not always. So I'm just going to wipe that up. Um, I'm trying not to leave any streaks in the... And I also, right now, I would put away the milk, but that's what's propping you guys up. Usually I don't make such a big mess. I don't know why I made such a big mess today. And so usually I have time to do other things other than, like, clean up mostly. But today I don't. But it's fine because I have three minutes. So that's done. I'm just gonna open this up. I'm gonna grab these out. That's how they're looking. That's how that one's looking. And then I put them to the side. Take my other two. Pop those in. it up one minute and 30 seconds and then I'm going to take my whisk and give these a quick mix and then you're done with your whisk so you can put that in the sink to wash later and then you can just finish cleaning up I'm acting like people are like following this tutorial <laughs> I know they're, I know you guys are, but it's fine. If you're watching, that's good enough. And then throw away with all your paper towels. Put your vanilla extract away. I'm gonna do another like sweep, sweep. I don't know what to call it afterwards. And then you're going to take out if you have these. Do I have the cream? Wait, did I use on my whipped cream? I believe we used all of our cream. 
So I'm just using marshmallows. This is actually more like big marshmallows than something else. Come on. Um, do I not have any more marshmallows? Sorry guys, I just... Okay, now would be the time that you add your get out your work on your marshmallows. Since I don't have those, I'm just taking these out. Okay, so, okay, so I just took those out of the microwave, and, um, here they're looking, and I don't have any whipped cream and marshmallows, so that's fine, but if you do, you can just add that on top. And then I'm just going to plop a spoon in each. Three more spoons. A little mini spoon. Lucky. And you're going to do that. And then I'm going to take the extra hot cocoa powder and just give a bit at the top. I'm giving the counter one extra little wipe because like it's kind of dirty. I'm gonna move you guys so you guys will see black for a bit. Put away the milk. Um, if you guys like the rest of this is just cleaning and like the final reveal. So if you don't want to watch the rest, you don't have to. And again, this is gonna be a really long video. film that part because this video is already getting too long so thank you guys so much for watching sorry for my dog uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time i post a video bye guys Hugo.